the glory of the celestial is different from the glory of the terrestrial. Yet both realms were made by the same person. God made the celestial realm, he made the terrestrial realm. He kept us in the terrestrial realm for a reason. We are not in the celestial realm. Yes, sir. So setting your mind and operating in the glory of the celestial realm without understanding the glory of the terrestrial realm is the reason why the church is behind. Hey. We are behind of our destiny. We are behind of where we ought to be as Christians. We are possessing less than what God has given and the place we ought to be where God is sitting, he's supreme when we are not supreme here. Because we are living a celestial life in a terrestrial plane. There's a glory of the celestial, but the glory of the terrestrial is another. In other words, in heaven, they don't have, they don't have cars and houses. and They have houses, of course, but not the kind of houses we have here. All right? They have their own system that is totally different in another plane than the one that is here. We are here. You can have a house in heaven and be homeless on earth. Your house in heaven is your celestial glory. Yes, sir. But your house on earth is your terrestrial glory. Mm. Are you understanding this? Yes, sir. You have treasures in heaven. All, all those are also your celestial glory. But the terrestrial plane is different. And the celestial glory ought to impact on the terrestrial. Yes, sir. Acts 22, 11. I want you to look at this impact. Look at this. When the celestial comes into the terrestrial, and when I could not see, why could he not see? For the glory of that light. Church, what light hit Paul? Was it a physical light? No, sir. It was a celestial light. Physically, Paul could not see. Paul became blind physically. What made him blind? A celestial light. I could not see for the glory, please, do not misunderstand the word glory. Now when we read scripture, understand the word glory based on what you see. The glory of that light, please, the glory of that light, what light, celestial or terrestrial? Celestial. What, where, who did it affect? How did it affect him, celestially or terrestrially? So he became physically blind by a spiritual light. If a spiritual light can make a person physically blind, can a spiritual light make a person physically rich? Yes, sir. If a spiritual light can, can create a physical change, a spiritual light created a physical change. My God! A spiritual light. He didn't become blind spiritually. He became blind physically. Yet the light was spiritual. Nobody could see it. He talked about the glory of that light. I could not see because of the glory of that light. And I was led by the hand of them that were with me. The others were not blind because they didn't see the light. So they led him. He became blind. A spiritual light had a physical effect on a physical body in a physical world. That's what people can't understand. How can somebody stretch his hands and somebody is healed? Why? Something has entered him. A spiritual thing entered a physical person. He touched a physical bone and a physical bone was healed. Why? The spiritual something is called encounter. 